So here we go. This is our fig tree. Uh, it's massive and very dense and provides a very nice location for my birds to hang out during the day. Um, it's also tasty and not just uh, the parts that humans eat, but as you can see, the chickens will jump up and get a bite of leaf. Uh, that only happens on these lower ones. As you can see, I mean, we get some bug damage probably right here, but it's a, it's a pretty hardy tree and it doesn't seem to uh, suffer from a lot of the uh, parasites that, you know, really uh, wreak havoc with uh, ornamental plants. Hey, Tom, I'm trying to make a video. I'm trying to make a video, buddy. Can you hold off on that? Okay, good. But I don't know if a lot of people haven't seen figs before. These are what figs look like uh, while they're not ripe. Um, let's open one up. Oh, man. All right. Apparently they bleed. So, my goodness. Let's see if I can pick this thing. All right, that was way harder than I thought it was going to be. Uh, I needed two hands. So that's what they look like on the inside. So, uh, as these things um, ripen, immature, uh, they turn kind of a reddish color on the outside, almost like a purple, maybe. And then on the inside, they they match that with a, a much brighter color. And all of these little um, pieces you see in there, you eat those too. And it's they're actually really tasty. But, uh, and that'll probably get picked up by my chickens. Um, but for the given size of a tree, you can see that, well, I hope you can see that there is fruit everywhere on this thing. Figs aren't very big. Uh, they will get slightly bigger than this. In fact, uh, let's see. Yeah, here we go. So some of them will only get this big, but some of them get much bigger. And that one's probably on track to get much bigger. And there we go. That's another good example. I mean, I have ginormous fingers and uh, they're bigger than the tip of my thumb. And uh, some of them will get very big. And so they, you know, we eat some of these, probably five <laughs> in total, everybody that I have, unless I get uh, um, people coming to the house to do services and stuff. I have somebody that comes by and checks my um, uh, septic tank every once in a while. And they usually will pick handfuls out of this thing and I'll give them all the oranges that they want and eggs too. But uh, the figs, we can't, we can't kill them all they there's probably three wheelbarrow fulls of this thing over a season and it's not that big of a tree I mean it's probably huge for a fig tree <laughs> I don't know I just kind of inherited this thing and so uh, every year you know it, it goes all the way to skeletonized and then in the space of maybe three weeks it'll look like this and it'll, it'll have figs starting so this thing is an extremely happy tree uh, it is growing like crazy and the main reason is that pipe right there. That's uh, all the water that comes out of our washing machine. Uh, soap and all goes onto the base of this thing. And uh, yeah, it waters this thing. And that's going to be kind of a concern because uh, we just started uh, softening our water a few months back. And so I can only imagine that the water underneath this thing is, is going to get very, well, it's gonna create a salt pan, I'm guessing. I don't know that for sure. I've been told do not water your lawn with this stuff and now I am watering the heck out of a tree with salted water so we'll see uh, what I may end up needing to do is uh, also throw water on this thing which should be really easy because that's my pump house right there hey hey oh one of the roosters is dancing for a girl and the, the geese are the keepers of the peace so yeah, this is what a fig tree looks like. And uh, they are very yummy, but uh, as I said, we don't eat very many of them and they will fall off the tree. And for whatever reason, bugs out here don't seem to cause a lot of the problems with this like they do with the peaches. I don't get hornets eating these things for whatever reason. Quit making scary chicken sounds, you're gonna scare me. Uh, instead, they fall to the ground and the bottom of this tree becomes completely littered with overripe uh, figs. And, you know, we'll get a wind, there'll be a bunch of them, the chickens will wake up in the morning, and then they'll be gone. <laughs> the chickens and muscovies 
even the dogs will eat the figs and everybody loves them. So nothing goes to waste out here, least of which, you know, 600 pounds of figs or whatever the hell this thing makes, probably 300 actually. And this is a very big tree and it's, it just, it's doing so good that there'll be, um, unripe figs on the tree that are very small and there'll be ripe figs on the tree that are falling off and it'll do that for uh a month or two and then um then it will just uh coast through the rest of the season trying to get bigger and bigger and it's doing a really good job you can see how how huge this thing is i don't uh i guess i would probably say it's like the size of the top of a hot air balloon it's, it's just massive it's not overly tall but it is wider than it is tall probably a half and again wider so this is what a really happy fig tree looks like and that's what figs look like